I am willing to bet, I hope this, this part convicts you, but there are many of you in here who can't name a single person on the school board that your kid goes to. You can't name a, si- a single city council member or your senator or a state rep. You can name the vice president. You can name the vice president? <laughs> You're supposed to pray for those people by name. The people that are in charge of, of leading, leading you in the civic area, you're supposed to pray for them by name. Do you believe that God can move Kamala Harris's heart? Look, don't laugh. Do you believe that God can move Nancy Pelosi's heart? Do you believe that God is big enough to move their heart? Do you believe that God can move Joe Biden's heart? Okay. Thank you. Sometimes y'all get tired of the questions. That's fine. If you do believe that, then why aren't you praying for them? If you believe that God's big enough, then why aren't you praying for them? I had this friend. Look, we only win by participation. We have to participate. I had a friend that uh, it was prophesied. He was in, a, in one of those services and somebody laid hands on him and they prophesied, said, hey, you have the gift of healing. And you can believe in that or not. It doesn't really matter because the Bible says it's true. So um, it, the guy had the gift of healing. It's supernatural ability that the Holy Spirit had given that when he prays for people, people are going to be healed. And so he went around and told everybody, I have the gift of healing. I have the gift of healing. And he's going around telling everybody. And he's so excited about it. And then like fast forward two months. And he's in a group of, of us, and, and he says, you know what? I, I have the gift of healing, but no one has been healed. And I'm, I'm, I just think it's really lame that I have the gift of healing. I believe that, but no one's been healed. And our pastor is listening, and he's like, can you answer a question for me? Uh, who have you prayed for? And he's like, I haven't prayed for anyone. No one was healed because you didn't pray for anyone. God hasn't moved the leader's hearts because you haven't prayed for them. Because you're angry with the things that they're doing. Because they're on the other side of the aisle. Because you don't think that they're gonna, their hearts are going to turn. You already said that you believe God is big enough to move their hearts. And yet, you're not asking Him to. Who have you prayed for, Christian? Knowing what you're supposed to do, who have you prayed for? What have you done about it? Have you just sat around and complained? 